Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, November 6th, 2022. Week 204. Where's time go? I don't know. Feels like it was just yesterday we were doing an update. <laughs> Feels like just yesterday it was 1986. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> you know, uh, years fly by for me, much less weeks. This is true. But I can tell you, last week I was 341, and this morning I was 341. So, again, consistent. Even. Where are we at? Last week I was 164. This week I was 164.6, so call it 165. Um, my body still doesn't know what the heck it's doing. Um, normally a cycle for me is three days tops, and I'm on day eight. <sighs> now I have to live with this. It's frustrating. I'm so sorry for you. Ah, oh, mm. it's very frustrating. I don't. I don't. I. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you're going through the perpetual period, I guess you could say, in a weird way. Yeah. Although it's not painful. It's just. It's annoying. not. It's just annoying. It's not typical. I went from being a month late to being early yeah. and double my normal. I, something's got to give soon. I hope. Anyway. Well, hey, just think when it does finally start straightening out, how much better life will be for you. This is true. I don't, know. <clears throat> I don't have much answers for you, and I don't have any experience to, <laughs> to to reference for you, but I just hope the best for you. Yeah, definitely feeling much better. I still have a little raspy to my voice, um, but feeling much better than last Saturday. You have more projection. I can yeah. hear you now. You can hear me now, exactly. Yeah. Um, OSHA root. Um, is what I was taking for the upper respiratory in my voice. Um, and after doing a couple of days of that, um, with a bunch of other stuff, but the OSHA root specifically is what helped me get my voice back. The last time I was yep. out for four weeks with no voice. Um, yeah, somebody recommended that at work. And yeah. You, I figured, why not just try it? So I ordered some on Amazon, and like two yeah. days later, you were better. And all of a sudden, that was really weird. And then this time you were over a week here and then you started taking it and you got your voice back. Yeah. Again. So I don't know what's in Osha Root and I don't know how it works, but I can tell you that we got a bottle of it. Yes, <laughs> we uh, do. <laughs> pretty happy with it. So yeah. it's, it's helped you quite a bit with your respiratory stuff. Yeah. One of those natural things versus the over-the-counter things that are full of chemicals and other things. Exactly. I don't know. It worked out well. Yeah. Hey, this week I did make some meatballs, which were fantastic and we still have tons in the freezer and i pulled some and eaten some and you've pulled some and eaten some yep and then i also got a couple little ingredient things like a little italian sausage a little bit of pepperoni and uh, i used the fat head crust that we had in the freezer and kind of mm -hmm. laid it all out made a little pizza and that's what i had i actually had one quarter of that this morning for breakfast it was kind of a nice easy already made and done so i just grabbed it and ate that so definitely been trying to get more into making and preparing and meal prepping in the sense of yeah. having these things ready to go. And today maybe I'll have some meatballs later. Yeah. It's really nice. So we got a little bit of Rayos so I could do the, the little sauce and little meat. Yep. Meatballs. I got a short day. Well, it's going to be a shorter day, six hours instead of eight. Although you guys have been really busy. So you might get <laughs> asked to stay. Very busy. Yeah. Um, Costco's so been jammed. Yeah. Yeah, people, yeah. yesterday, I don't know what it was, it was even more so, um, I don't know, people are like, one lady says, I hate how people don't pay attention as we're asking her, hey, we need you to go ahead and do your payment, and she's talking to me, I was assisting, and um, she's like, they just don't pay attention, the cashier's going, your total's ready, and I said, you can go ahead and do your card now, she's like, okay, and then she starts to walk away, I said, ma'am, you gotta pay for your order, <laughs> So it was kind of ironic. She's sitting there talking about how everybody else was not, not paying, paying attention, attention, yet here she is not paying attention. Uh, so, But we love our members, right? We do. Actually, I yes. made her giggle at the end. She goes, because I asked her how she was doing. She goes, horrible. It's a horrible day. Uh -huh. And then I was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, do you need help finding anything? And, she, and then that's when she went on the tangent about people not paying attention. Hmm. And then... Um, at the end of it, she was actually laughing as she left. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you got to just be kind because you never yeah, know what other know what people are going through, going through exactly. and what their struggles are or what kind of night they've had or what kind of year they've had. Or, yeah. 
Again, when their life just is gone or right, yeah. you never know. So you just got to be kind. <clears throat> yep. Be kind. Be kind. Pay it forward. And I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. I'm going to share a story, but Bill's probably not going to be happy. And you're going to share a story that I'm going to not be happy. So the other day he was out and he wanted to just have a coffee. Oh, after the doctor. Yeah, yeah after the doctor. <clears throat> he just wanted a coffee just to kind of wake himself up because he can't eat or drink anything beforehand. And um, so he drove through. See, it's, actually, a, it's a powerful suggestion. You power, just yeah. say coffee. He actually, actually went into McDonald's <clears throat> to get the coffee because his throat was hurting him a little bit. <clears throat> and there was a younger mom there getting uh, some food for the kids. She they were doing kids. breakfast. They were doing a breakfast and the kids wanted milk and mom says, nope, water is fine. And they're like, we really want milk. And mom's like, water is fine. Probably it was all she could afford was to get the breakfast that they were sharing. I'm not sure. And, maybe um, maybe they're lactose intolerant. Yeah, it could have been, but and most and likely I, not if she was if they're asking for it. But um, no, they were asking for so it. So Bill had the uh, server. I just cashier. said if I if I buy three milks, will you take them over to their table? I thought that was fair, and they did, and they took them and. But, the, but then they got all their stuff together and left, so I'm not sure if they just had to go. Or It was odd that they got their trays and they sat down and everything, and then he brought them some milk. And then, you know, I wasn't, like, staring at them or sitting where I could, like, see them directly. I just figured the kids want milk, buy some milk for them. Yeah. So we got a couple little milks. Yeah. It's a couple bucks. But I was trying to make the kids happy. I don't know. Maybe I got the wrong kind of milk. I don't know. Just got regular white milk, but... Nah, I don't think so. I think maybe your mom might have been a little embarrassed that somebody that was helped. And I don't even know if they have other kind of milk like strawberry or chocolate or whatever. Mm, I don't know. I think I it's just know. white milk. But anyway, so it was really it was really nice. And yeah, just wanted to get the kids some milk. Yeah, I had a member that didn't have enough for her payment, and uh, member behind it, it was a seventy dollar order, and her card. She had, we take Visa. She had a Mastercard and didn't have any other form of payment. And it was clearly groceries and, you know, some snacky stuff for the, the kids. So you can tell it was kid like applesauce is the pouches and stuff. And the lady was like, I'll pay for it. She's like, no, 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 please don't. She wanted to cry. She ended up leaving and coming back. Um, her husband uh, sent uh, some money via Apple Pay type of thing. Mm -hmm. And she ended up paying for it. But she's like, I can't believe that lady was going to pay for my order. I'm like, yeah, if, you know, they wouldn't do it if they didn't have it and they couldn't afford to do it for you. Yeah. She's like, that's not fair. I said, when something like that happens, just pay it forward. I said, just, you know, pay it forward to the next person there. You don't know, you know, sometimes even just buying a coffee can make somebody's entire day. Yeah. I've never been in the, like the drive through line where the person Fred had you paid for the car behind you kind of thing, whatever. Yeah. But then, of course, see, here's the thing. I'm kind of cheap. So whenever I go somewhere like that and like Julia wants something, I get like the McDouble and the small fry and, you know, it's like four bucks, you know, because yeah. I don't. Want to go spend ten dollars or whatever, and so I'd I'd be kind of gypped on that one. <laughs> I'd be like, "Oh, thanks for covering mine. Now I got to cover fourteen dollars for that guy's lunch behind me because he's a pig. Because he's a pig." I don't know. I don't anyway, know. I don't know. So it was just really <clears throat> nice that he did that. And well, yeah, you'd have done it too if you were standing there. Absolutely. With I was at the dollar store picking up something for work. We had, you know, little things, and there was an older gentleman um, that was in there. Now everything is a dollar twenty-five, <laughs> and um, he was buying basic things like dish soap, deodorant, um, band aids, stuff like that. And the order came up to like, I think it was about ten bucks. And he's like, "Oh, because he didn't realize it's a dollar twenty-five now plus your tax and that." So he put like four things back, and I was like. Please, yeah, I just, rare moment that I have cash. I don't normally have cash with me. And so I just put the five bucks over and I said, bring those up. And he goes, you know, I said, it's already done. Have a good day. And so I walked out because I didn't want him to feel um, embarrassed. And, um, yeah, it's like the kids with the milk. I didn't go sit and like stare where right. they were sitting. I just went and sat at the corner and I was just happy to have my coffee. <laughs> yeah. But it was, so. it was, it's, it's nice to be able to do those little things, you know, and he just, I can tell he's very, he goes, she didn't have to do that. And, and the cashier said she wouldn't have done it if she didn't want to. So, I don't know. Pay for it when you get an opportunity. Even if it's wasn't $3 a, for milk. Couple, but that <laughs> made a big yeah. difference for the milk and for the deodorant and toothpaste that the gentleman was going to put back. And, yeah. yeah. 
little things. Some yeah, people do it on the bigger scales. Unfortunately, we can't afford the bigger scales, but, you know, the little things, the random act of kindness. Oh, there are times that we had better moments, like with St. Jude's and stuff out there mm -hmm. in Lansing, you know, yeah. tried to help them with their big fundraising thing. And Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you do what you can, where you can, how you can. Yeah. And I don't think it's so much as the amount that you do as the, the thought. The know. thought, yeah, sometimes it's just, just uh, hey, your hair looks really nice today. And, hey, um, your hair looks really nice today. Aw, It thank always you. looks nice, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. No, nah, it never hurts to be kind and to do yeah. what I say is the right thing. So it it's is. Great thing. It is what it is. I'm feeling all relaxed. I'm, I don't know <clears> why. Yeah, I got to get up and go to work. But <laughs> Well, we got that extra hour today in a way. Yeah. Because the clocks went back. But, you know, so now 9 o'clock. I'm excited. I'm talking without like a lounge. Lounge. Lozenger. Lozenger. I was like. A, <laughs> like a cough drop or a breeze. Right. Without or something. something in my mouth um, to, keep, to keep the control right. of the cough. So. That's been nice, but... Yeah, I've been borderline getting sick here with the throat and feeling it. Well, there's so much you could do. It's been over a week now. Yeah. and I think part of it's just sleep because I'm not sleeping. You're coughing most of the night, and that wakes me up each time she coughs. And but when I'm not in bed, he doesn't sleep because I'm not in bed. It's a curse. I'll Aww. take it. Either way, I it's fine. <laughs> Just uh, got to get through this next few days and hopefully yep. get back to regular sleep. I wish I could sleep during the day. I'd take a nap today. But yeah. Nah. It is what it is. Well, hey, guys. <clears throat> I hope you're all doing well with your keto if you're following that path mm -hmm. and that you're able to stay strong with it. Because I'll tell you there are temptations out there. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Like when Julia brought home pie the other day. Didn't even know what kind of pie it was because I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see that. Just keep it in the fridge and eat your stuff. <laughs> but, you know, do you want a piece of pie? No, I don't want any pie. No, nope, no, thank you. Do I want pie? Sure, I did, but I'm not eating that. Depends on what kind of pie it is. Well, not even so much for the keto, but being diabetic. I mean, obviously, it's right. full of sugar. So I'm like, no, that's not a good choice. Yeah. And I did go to the doctor recently, mm -hmm. and, oh, that was in your phone case. I did go to the doctor. We got okay, a, cool, though. Okay. Anyway. Bill's going to finish his story. No, I don't have much of a story. They did a bunch of blood work, and it's kind of inconclusive, and it's all over the place, so I have to go back in one month, and then I have to discontinue the medicine I'm on now to see if that's the cause of these erratic numbers that are coming up in my blood work. So I got about yeah. a month of tapering down this medicine, 25% per week, and then going off of it, and then contacting him, do another blood work, and uh, just see where the numbers fall. So things are weird right now with my blood. <clears throat> that's all have yeah. a great day we'll see you maybe early and maybe later depending on what happens with work maybe ten, send me a text let me I'll know i'll call you and maybe tonight we'll have some meatballs or something because oh, yeah it's nice when you have some things with planned melted and ready. cheese and rayos yeah bake it bake it right in the oven i could do that perfect i could <laughs> do it all right guys have a great one and hope you all have a good weekend see you later well what's left of the weekend because it's sunday yeah it's but sunday have next a good week. week have a good week <laughs> That's it. And if you're in doubt, buy the milk for the kids. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.